give you the full... We can sort of get medical about it, I suppose. Because it is a medical sort of term, isn't it? <laughs> so they say. <laughs> what kind of medicine you um, It's well. a fridge. Next question. <laughs> Sometimes a cooker. <laughs> yep, they've expanded their range. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I was in the south of France, uh, or driving along, and suddenly I saw this big billboard with a speng on it. I nearly drove into the sea. So, if Doug Naylor sees that, there's going to be copyright problems somewhere. Yeah, definitely. Well, um, oh dear. How do we. Um, well, I think we'd have to have a quiet word in his ear later, I think. Yes, we might sort of. Come and see us later. <laughs> <laughs> Man of no fixed hairstyle, see us on. <laughs> I think everyone else knows, don't they? Hands up who doesn't know. See us afterwards and we'll whisper in his ear and he can whisper in your ear. Young people here, no, we'll oh, no. later. You don't need to know. <laughs> Who's next? Uh, Hi, Chris. I remember you and a comedy called The British Empire where you played Gordon Battles. I thought that was very funny. Good. Excuse me. How did you get the part of uh, Westa? Oh. <laughs> well, <I> mean, <laughs> River. <laughs> yes. Um, British Empire fan, no less. Certainly a friend of Lord Rock. How did I get the part of Rimmer? I um, auditioned for Doug Naylor. I knew Doug Naylor and Rob Grant from doing some sketches on the Jasper Parrot Show in uh, 83, 84. And of course, they worked on Spinning Image, and worked on Spinning Image. So I knew Rob and Doug pretty well. And um, I went along on the same day as Craig, actually. And there was a few other actors there. And we all swapped around the parts. And um, that was it, I didn't hear any more. I, I played, I, I read for Rimmer and Lister on it. And actually, I wanted to play the Lister. So I'm, so I'm sort of a, a messy kind of week anyway, and I thought, well, that's my part. You know? And they sort of, I read for Rimmer, and um, a few months later, I got, you know, a letter saying actually they'd cast someone else. Uh, and then, and about three weeks after that, they said, no, we've changed our minds, we want you to play Rimmer. So, uh, Quite a convoluted process, but um, good fun. And I'll just slip with the producer. That's <laughs> how so you do it, isn't it? I would like to sleep with a Red Bull producer. <laughs> I was desperate for a